everyone. I'm just going to do a quick demo on how to con how to configure a Prometheus pod, pod monitor to scrape an application endpoints, an application matrix. So first of all, I want to use this um, application as an example. So this example is oh, sorry, this application is called Prometheus Example App. I will link, I will put a link on this application on the description below. But this Prometheus app, this example app is basically a Golang application with Prometheus instrumentation um, built in. So I have a local cost cluster in Docker desktop and I'm just gonna apply the deployment manifest the deployment manifest you can find on the repository itself. I already saved that manifest in my local directory. Um, let me just create a namespace first. Just make sure I'm in the namespace. I am. So I'm just gonna apply example app deployment. creating okay so I'm going to show you what um, the metric looks like for this application it's going to do a port forward on port 8080 so the example application doesn't do much it's just basically print a uh, this bit of text what we are interested in actually is in the slice metrics because this is what um, Prometheus, Prometheus will script. This is the metrics, the HTTP request duration in seconds in a, in a histogram. So, so at the moment you can see there are two requests. So if I go back to that, and I go back to metrics. Um, that should increase. Oh, probably I haven't reload. So that's now increased to three. Good. So now we have an um, example application. The next thing, the next thing we want to do is configure our Prometheus to use Pod Monitor. And to do that, this is let me just show you the values YAML. So basically, we need to apply the following configuration, which is pod monitor selector, and we supply the label that needs to be applied on the pod monitor objects. So what these three lines say basically. Prometheus, Prometheus will scan uh, for pod monitor objects, which has labels Prometheus equals true. So I um, installed my Prometheus using Helm. So I will just do a Helm upgrade with that values.yml. Um, that's a bit too small. Let me just make that full screen maybe. So that's basically what I will do, Helm Upgrade Prometheus. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using Prometheus Community Cube Prometheus stack to install my Prometheus. So I'm just upgrading that with a values.yaml that I just showed you just now. So hopefully this won't take too long. Um, the next thing that I want to show you once this finish is we want to create pod monitor object. So I'm gonna show you what pod monitor manifest look like. Yep. So this is let me just let us just go back to here. So we see we see here that um, Prometheus Prometheus has been upgraded with the 
with the values that we saw just then. Let me just explain a little bit about this bot monitor, that object that we're going to create. So this is the manifest for bot monitor. Let's just go through this line by line. So this is basically saying that we are going to create a pod monitor object on the example app namespace and we want to label the pod monitor with Prometheus equals true label. Remember this label is important because that's what we tell Prometheus in the previous configuration that all of our pod monitors will have this label. So that Prometheus knows how to um, sort of mon monitor these bot monitors in a sense. Now, um, and then the next few lines here is saying this bot monitor is going to monitor pods, which has the following label, Prometheus.io script equals true. And then this basically is saying monitor pods with that label in this namespace, which is example app namespace. And then we specify the matrix port, the endpoint. Sorry, the matrix endpoint port, which is 8080, as we see here. All right, um, before I go forward, I also want to show you the Prometheus itself, which I have running at the moment on 1990. So this is my <coughs> Prometheus instance. Configuration targets. So at the moment, we don't see any port monitor in the um, target section of Prometheus. The intention is when we apply our port monitor, then the pod monitor object will register the um, example app endpoint to Prometheus, and we will see th that as a target in this um, section. So, without further, further ado, let's run that pod monitor manifest. So the pod monitor is running. Now if we refresh this page, then I will should see pod monitor here. Um, okay, this is interesting. There is no pod monitor registered here. Did I make any, did I make any mistake? Ah, yes. Uh, I, I think I haven't applied this label on our example app pods or deployment, so I will need to do that. So I will edit this deployment. And I will add the label Prometheus that I script goes through um, interesting did my edit succeeded just have a look at the labels here no, doesn't seem to be applied. Hmm, I'm not expecting this because you see here that the labels hasn't been applied. Uh, ex unless I, I edit the wrong. I 
da, 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 deployment spec. Pretty sure that's the right labels. Uh, thing. I need to do it in the on the pot spec not on the deployment spec. Yes, so I think that's what happened. I, th I think I put the, um, the label on the deployment itself, not on the pod. Let's just quickly check. There we go. This is what we want. Um, alrighty, so, alright, so as you can see here, we have pod, me pod monitor up and running, and yeah, so there you have it, we have, now it has been successfully registered an, an, a pod and pod metrics endpoint to Prometheus using pod monitor. Uh, before we finish, I just want to quickly check one thing. Oh, I need to do put forward. Now, of course, we have changed the, we have recycled the pot. I just want to see if I can run some queries against um, the, let, I just, oh, sorry, what I'm trying to do is I wanna do some queries against this application matrix. So if I do this a few times, so it's a three there. I might not be able to do this in, in the query section, just depending on how how quick Prometheus is scraping the endpoint. So first, let's see if it's actually registered. So as you can see here, Prometheus knows about this matrix. And I execute, hopefully I have data. And if I don't, that's fine. There's nothing wrong, it's just that what it means is Prometheus hasn't got a chance to scrape it. Um, but lucky for us, Prometheus has got a chance to scrape the endpoints and it's queryable, which is great. This is what we want. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you for watching.